Greetings and salutations, viewers. We're the Land Stars, and Gabriel Knight had one hell of a night that luckily we didn't see. <laughs> uh, Gabriel, why? Eh, uh, I'm assuming Grace ain't gonna be talking to us. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Oh, she's willing to talk to us. Amazing. Do you have messages for me? Nope. None right now. Okay, then. Could you do some research for me? Sure. Uh, da -da -da -da. I have a pattern I need you to research. How interesting. What is it? It's a reconstruction of the tracings they found around the murder victims. The ones done in flour and blood. Ugh. You shouldn't carry this kind of thing around. Who knows what these symbols mean? Well, wear your evil banishing gloves if you want, but check it out that for me, would you? she wears when she's I'll around you, right Gabriel. <laughs> exactly. I can't. Okay. Uh, let's also check out the newspaper. Times Picahune, dated June 21st, 1993. Gabriel's eye is immediately drawn to an article about the voodoo murders. He scans it quickly. I don't believe this. They've closed the case. What case? The voodoo murders case. The paper says that the police have learned that the murders were the result of an underworld cartel war and that the war is over. That's not good. It's ridiculous. What about the killers? And a voodoo angle, they never got anything on that. I know you were into it, Gabriel. But if it's over, that's hardly a negative. Anyway, if you're that upset, why don't you talk it over with your pal Mosley? Well, maybe no, I will. <laughs> Forget it, okay? Gabriel decides to check his horoscope. Despite ah, Gabriel, you have all the maturity of a toddler. <laughs> Resist him so he's like most of your co workers. <laughs> Peachy. Well, let's look at that hobo guy. Oh, yeah, the you. Have you noticed this guy outside the shop? Yeah, he gives me the creeps. I wish he'd go away. Oh my god, this is the greatest bookstore I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> As you Because <laughs> <laughs> it has been a while since we've saved. Yes. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. The figure outside does not respond. Take off your shirt, that'll scare him. <laughs> uh, no wait. Pull out Willie Jr. That'll scare him. The boogie, boogie, boogie. The street doesn't go. Boogie, 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 boogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. boogie, boogie, boogie. boogie, boogie, boogie. I'll give you a taste of my wet Willie Jr. Ah! Well, welcome to this <laughs> Let's Play of Croc Legend of Gobos. <laughs> Boogie, 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 boogie. <laughs> Gabriel doesn't want to put the mask on until he has to. This is a good opportunity. Scare Chester a bum away with him. Say you're a dinosaur. You see, in order to do, to do that, we'd have to open the door. Well, we already established that he was on the floor earlier. <laughs> And then everybody can walk the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> it was a night like this, more than a million years ago. I lit a cigarette, picked up a monkey skull to go. <sighs> the sun was shooting fire, the sky was blue as ice. Felt a little tired, so I watched Miami Vice and walked the dinosaur. I walked the dinosaur. <laughs> We're just not gonna accomplish anything in this video. Watch we leave bookshop. Watch, watch, watch Willie Jr. 
break dance. What about about a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot. This is the bus <laughs> video all over again. Don't hurry back on my account. Let's go talk to the cops. Oh boy! Maybe Mosley will appreciate Willie Jr. Totally. Yep. Not even gonna talk to you, Jim Cummings. Detective Mosley. Hard at work, I see. Night, I had a feeling you'd show up. Night, I hate to tell you this, but you're out of a book. The voodoo murders case has been closed. I had a feeling you were going to say that, son of a bitch. Uh, so we're chatting. We're chatting them up. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. Yeah, why is the case closed? What's the status on the voodoo? The case? What? How can you just close it? It's not solved, is it? Oh, it's solved. Turns out the Chicago Mafia was trying to invade local territory, using Mississippi for drug running now that Florida's so hot. What we had here was a little resistance from local businessmen. Word came in this morning that the Chicago group is giving up and pulling out of New Orleans. But that doesn't bring the killers to justice. Well, the boys upstairs seem to figure it this way. Let the slime kill each other. Better the vermin we know than the Chicago vermin, I guess. The attitude in the department is that we've just been done a huge favor. Well, they're probably right. What about the local cartel? Are you just gonna let them go? At least they're part of us. We'll deal with them over time, always have. New Orleans is pretty clean that way, you know. Well, that's Except during Mardi isn't? Gras. Look, <laughs> I'm not totally in agreement here either, but what can I do? These guys are not about to get caught. I'm disappointed about the book, too. Look, next big murder case I get, I'll call you in and we'll do that one upright, okay? In fact, I could probably dig up some old cases and you could spice them up. No, thanks. Furf. How can I convince you to reopen the case? Look, the department's not interested. So? Couldn't you make them interested? With what? I've got seven bodies and still no leads. The voodoo angle's worthless. And besides, these people aren't hurting anybody but out-of-town drug dealers and hitmen. The voodoo stuff is not worthless. It's the key to the whole thing. And these people are dangerous. They need to be stopped. Okay. You want me to reopen this case? Prove what you just said. <coughs> what do you mean? You need to prove there's a legitimate voodoo cult in New Orleans. Prove that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. Okay, we had to look like a peasant, we had to smell like a peasant, and we had to be on fire like a peasant. Got it. Okay, then. Because I think we can at least get some of that. Um, I don't think we can yet. But okay. I think... I think pretty soon we'll be able to. Alright, so in that case, just book it out of here then. Let, let's go to the Napoleon house. Because they have, have a present up. for us. Later. Oh, that's right. Sam's got to give us uh, some nice, shiny jewelry. Shaped like a snake. Yep. We're about to have snake arms. Snick arms. Snick arms. Sam, my man. Hey there, it's you. I got that bracelet for you. Oh yeah, baby. This piece <laughs> was a real toughie. For some <coughs> reason, the metal just wasn't setting. I must be out of practice. Or we just got a crap well, mold. Well, looks good to me. Thanks, Sam. No problem. By the way, I'm heading out of town tonight. Yeah, where to? Marcus used to tell me that if I ever beat him at chess, he take me around the world. In 80 days? Bastard has enough money stuffed in his mattress to cover the federal deficit, and he hates spending a penny of it. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy watching him squeam through every mile. Sounds like fun. Good luck. Are you kidding? Luck is my middle name. Actually, it's Shoyly. 
Middle name is Zoidberg. <laughs> Hi, Oka-san. Give me the pudding, damn it. I have a Willie Jr. Oh boy, I would love to wear that. <laughs> you would look so fab. So, so <laughs> I, 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 I await with dread the next <laughs> magical item that Raven gives me in that game. <laughs> But see, it's, it could also be one you wear for duck game. Wah. I like, I like the burger hat in that game. True. Um, sure, I'm the one who wears the gator hat. <laughs> so... There, there's that set of binoculars above Jackson Square. The overlook. Yep. What are we overlooking? We're overlooking Jackson Square. Okay, I'm not seeing anything of interest here. Let's see here. Let's try... We need to... This one? We need to use the binoculars on the far left. Okay. But we can check them all out. Hello, there's oh. our friend from earlier, Crash. And he's talking to the drummer. That's Crash. <laughs> what the hell is he up to with that drummer? Hmm. And he seems to be headed up to the church. Indeed. Well. For, first, we need to head down to Jackson Square. Yeah, we probably should talk to the drummer. There's someone else we can talk to here, too. Ooh. Bada 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 da You. The drama is busy. But if we head one screen to the left... Okay. I'm gonna go. 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 They have the uh, lore again. Let's talk to lore. Could I ask you a few questions, Madame Lorelai? The only answers I give are given in my reading. I'm sure your palm would be quite interesting. Okay, you want to read my palm then? How about a reading? The prices are listed on the sign. They seem a little steep. Well. I sometimes do my um, intimate friends for nothing, but I am a businesswoman. I'm sure you are. Okay. Maybe you'll watch some Willie Jr. Um, nom, 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 Nope. Okay. Uh, how about your veil back then? I think this veil belongs to you. Huh, my veil. I'm always losing those things. You have no idea. Well, darling, you're such a sweetie to return a lady's delicates and so handsome as well. Well, I... And since you have such a clear interest in fortune telling, let me see your hands. They look so strong. Perhaps they will make both our fortunes clear, no? But are they I good at playing piano? Would. Hmm. Strong. Piano! Oh, I said piano! <laughs> and, um, flexible. <sighs> you don't know the half of it. Oh, good. I see a mysterious woman in your immediate future. Oh, my. Madame Lorelei winks at Gabriel knowingly. She is a dangerous one. Dark and beautiful. Ah, I see the road of your life, folk. And very soon... I misheard her. The blood <laughs> drains from Madame Lorelei's face in an instant. <laughs> Sweat beats on her upper lip. Thanks. Are you okay? No. Oh, oh well, my. Beware. Beware.
What is it about me lately? Well, that happened. Well, let's go up north to the church. Yay! Hey, there's Crash. I need to talk to you. Ask you some questions. No way, man. I'm, I'm too sick. No way. Come on. I have to know what you know about these voodoo people. You, you don't know nothing about nothing, man. You're so far out of it, you wouldn't understand anything. Just like that friend of yours, Mosley. Go away. I'm not like Mosley. I know more than you think I do. I'll believe you. Forget it, man. It's not worth my breath. If only we had something to convince him that we were, like, allied with him. Do you recognize this? No. Don't waste my time. If only we had something else that would convince him we were allied with him. Do you recognize this? No. If only we had like a voodoo artifact of some kind. Oh. We have too much <laughs> voodoo crap in our inventory. Do you recognize this? Where'd you get that? Why? Do you know something about it? Know something about it? Look at this. Grash opens his shirt and reveals a tattoo. It's the same. The same snake. It's their sign. The mark of the snake. Without it, they'll never let you get close. The sign of the snake. Right. Your tattoo, my bracelet. Now, do you believe that I know something about these people? know about the mic. <laughs> I guess. Talk now. to him some more. Will you answer some questions for me now? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll talk to you a little. I'll make it fast. Oh dear God, you look like Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands had more color <laughs> in his face. That says something. I saw you talking to that drummer. What did you tell him? You saw me with the drummer? Nobody's supposed to see. Shit. I blow it again. I promise you won't say nothing to no one. It'll get back to him. Everything does. I promise me you won't tell anyone you saw me. Okay. But you have to tell me everything I want to know. Okay. Okay. I was sending a message, man. Yeah, these, these... These rotter drummers posted around the quarter. <laughs> they see everything. And they report. Report? How? The drums, man. It's, it's some kind of code. Uh -huh. Tell me about the rotter drums. I already told you about that. Okay. Let's ask him about voodoo. Now tell me what you know about voodoo. All I know is these people are into some weird shit. They have power. Real power. They can write your name on a piece of paper, chew it, and you end up eating some meat. Like you've been through a a, a grinder. They got death note powers, got it. Great. <laughs> Things that no one ever knew about you. They know when you lie. They can smell it. They're fucking scary, man. He said a swear. I I feel so Devil unclean. Look away, Willie Jr. <laughs> Ain't no fake shit, man. It's real. Basically, we want to ask. We also want to ask him about the voodoo murders. Now, um, tell me about the voodoo murders. They did the murders, and that's not the only way they kill. Crash, you're not sounding so good. No. 
just by saying your name. Come on, you don't really believe that, do you? I seen it, man. You can't cross them. Uh-huh. Ask him about animal masks. Now tell me about the animal masks. They were them dancing at the rituals. They don't just wear them. They become them. They become the animals. Stop. Something Stop. like that in our nightmares, though. <sighs> That's all I know. Okay. Let's ask him about... Well, you, you can pick things to ask Do him you know about. you anything about the babies? I never heard of that. Okay. Obviously you won't know anything about the Schadenrager. Do you know anything about snakes? The eyes. Snake's eyes. Dumbala. Okay. Tell us one of the voodoo loa. Do you have any idea what Capri Saint Gaul means? I never heard of that. Okay. <laughs> Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hanfu in New Orleans. All right. There's this. Uh, this is an uh, underground cartel in in New Orleans. A voodoo cartel. They control everything that happens on the street. I mean everything. Bought or sold. They have their fingers in the legit world too. Banks, foreign stuff, you name it. This McDonald's. This temple. What you said, a hound form. That's the headquarters. I heard people say it's it's uh, underground. Uh, somewhere in the French Quarter. I don't know where. Have you ever been there? <laughs> uh, no, no, huh? I, I've never been in it. I'm a nobody. A runner. But I, I, I saw them once. Out at the lake. They became furries. Man. Beasts. I remember the eyes. Uh, the eyes. Hey, are you okay? You don't sound too good. Eyes of the snake. I think I should go get a doctor. Hey, are you all right? Someone, I need help. The eyes of the snake. Dambala. Oh. What snake? Crash. Crash spasms twice more, then die as Gabriel Well, if we're gonna be held oh, for questioning God. for 24 hours, God damn it. Yep. So, uh, what we want to do now, um, let's see here. I'm assuming we, we need to... I have a feeling we have to search his body. We have to look at him. Oh, okay. Uh... There's no point in doing that with the cops. We have to open his shirt. There's... There's... Uh... There we go, and I'm assuming we may want to sketch that. Yeah, we do. On Crash's chest is a tattoo. Yep, we need our sketchbook. Our handy dandy sketchbook. I guess I better copy this tattoo. And I guess we just left him there in church with his shirt exposed. Yep. Alrighty. Well, Bye. RIP Crash, you were a character. Of all the characters in this game, you were definitely one of them. Yep. Let's get out of here before they decide to pin us for murder. It's getting late. Gabriel decides to go home for the day. We just watched a man die in church. Let's go to bed. <laughs> There's one more thing we can ask Grace for. Yeah. Well, if they let us do it. Yeah, she's going home, so I guess we're waiting it out. Okay.
Hello. It's me. I can't sleep. I'm also all itchy. Can I? Yes. Come. Can do. Because clearly he didn't need the oil from the from the guy from the guy at the store. The road was blocked. The truth was shown. The white flag had been waved. Reversal cost me all I had and everything I braved. I went out to the club. There were lights and everyone raved. His truth was marching <laughs> on. Here we were coming up with these and me. <laughs> Reminds me, I should actually start jotting down notes for that Simon Belmont song idea I have. Ooh. Are you okay, Gabriel? <sighs> sure. Great. Why? I'm worried about you. If I were any better, Grace, I'd be dead. Now, what's up? Did you find out anything about that pattern I gave you? Yeah, I did find something. I checked the microfiche at the public library. I found an article about microfiche. The <laughs> microfiche. Part of a pattern <laughs> found around the body. It looks damn close. You're incredible. All that work. Forget it. But you got another package this morning. FedEx from Germany. I was Ooh. expecting that. Where is it? Well, it kind of came open, but I salvaged the contents. It was a letter from your great uncle Wolfgang in a journal. Yeah. The package okay. Just came open, huh? How'd you like the journal? Someone has to look after you. You're in trouble. In case you don't know it. Yeah, you've been reading my horoscope again, haven't you, Grace? Just read the journal. It's not like I Gabriel. like you or anything, Baka. Please. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. St. George's books. That's how you answer oh, the phone. Professor Hartridge, I'm glad you called. Did you... You did. Wait, slow down. The Aigri? Really? You think that's them? The wheel within a wheel? A goon but Aigri, huh? Well, that does sound like it. Gambala, the snake. That's the wavy pattern at the bottom, okay. The 1791 slave revolt in Santo Domingo. Well, why would the Veve show up there? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Look, I'll come over as soon as I can. Okay. Relax, Professor. I'm excited too, but you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Okay. Thanks. See ya. Is the greatest phone message I ever listened to. Where are you gonna step into a hole you may never get out of? Don't look so good. He's still freaking there. Who knows what I'm doing? I'm perfectly safe. And I'm getting some great stuff for the book. Besides, there's something about all this. My dreams. What about your dreams? You know, Nothing my dreams I, I drown. But there's something else we can ask Grace to research now. Yes, but we will do that. In the next episode! So, let's see where this voodoo mystery goes next time. But until then, R.I.P. Crash. R.I.P. Crash. You were a character. Yep. <laughs>